I think I'm okay. So, Douglas Grant. I'm Murray, a rainforest blackfellow from North Queensland. Poor bugger and his family. 1880s. There's a massacre up there. You reckon anyone overseas know about the frontier wars here? Not many. So, young Douglas, this Murray survives a massacre. A Scottish family bring him to Sydney, they grow him up, he goes to school and he becomes a draftsman. Then, 1916, he goes to war. That's about it. Righto, you ready to go? Okay, Mr Douglas Grant. Ready? Okay, so you're in Sydney, 1921. Yeah, I remember that day. I dumped a tram down to the quay. And stood before that magical harbour. That's me, on the ferry to Lavender Bay. I'm dapper. I always dress well. I'm going to meet my mate Percy Cohen and one of my heroes, Henry Lawson, the great writer of Australia. It's two years since I've returned from the war, wounded on the Western Front, captured, prisoner of war camps. Everything gets rearranged in your head. And then you're back. The war's over, but who wants to know about it? Hey, yeah, uh, good man. Good man, sit down, sit down, please. Uh. Percy tells me you uh, you served. Yes. Right. I got shipped out in 1916, wounded in Bully Court. It's cold in here. Anybody else cold? Hey. Where's your coat? Where's me what? Your coat. Oh. It's it's it's, it's currently learning Hebrew. <laughs> So You'll have to tell him again, Doug. You can speak up a bit. He's a bit deaf. Speak louder. I got shipped out in 1916. Got wounded and captured in bully court. I was a guest of the Kaiser till the end of the war. When the world was wide-eyed and war-torn. They faced each other, sir, and fought like men. When the world was wide. Oh, yes. Uh, did did P Percy tell you that I was I was suckled at the breast of one of your people? I was I was suckled at the teat of this country. I, I sucked and sucked. They tell me, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> In the prison of war camp, the Red Cross sent us all your books and I read them cover to cover. You saved a blackfellow from being homesick, so. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a reader too. Bought up by the Scots. Ooh. Hmm. And you'd be familiar with Robbie Burns then. Oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland before him. For me and my true love will never meet again. Oh. 
on the bunny, bunny banks of Loch Lomond. <laughs> Here's to the Scots. <laughs> Is there an honest poverty? <laughs> and the infantry man would come in, and, 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 and you know the Germans would all bail up. You know, right. Somebody like running to a hornet's yeah. nest. Thanks, Fritz. Yeah. <laughs> Here's hey. a present, you laddie. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> mm. You still get flashbacks. I live that war. There's no escaping it. But I was a child of other wars too. Australia's first wars. The ghosts of all those dead countrymen. Our ancestors forever remind us that what was done will stalk us like old Henry's Goenna. Haunting undertakers who steal justice and bury undead stories. <laughs> <laughs> 